So today we are reviewing the do-it-yourself power rack ground mount solar panel racks that you see behind me here that is made by Power Field Energy. And guys, I love these things. These racks require no digging piers into the ground, no bolts, no heavy machinery, no concrete. You literally just set them in place, fill them with gravel or rock, which I did a combination of the two to keep them down, to hit whatever wind rating you need. And that is it. Set the solar panel on it, clip them in place, and you're done. The ground really doesn't even need to be level either. As long as it's just on a kind of a straight slope, these will work perfect. My ground wasn't exactly sloped right. So you can see I've got a little bit of gravel just under each one just to kind of help with that. But it took just a few minutes to do each one. So it's the weight of the rocks or dirt or whatever you have on hand to put inside these racks that's what actually holds them down and gives them that wind rating. So you can install these racks in two different ways. One, or the way I did it, was basically one of these power racks per panel. And then at the very end, you need an extra one, basically. So if you have 10 panels in a row, you'll need a total of 11 racks. That's one way to install these. Another way is, well, let me backtrack just a little bit. When you install them that way, you have to have more of an even surface or make a little bit, do a little bit more work preparing the ground like I did or adding gravel. And then the other way you can install these things is two per panel. And then you can basically be completely, each panel can be independent of each other. Then the ground can be however you want. Now it does raise the cost a bit to install them that way, obviously, because you're having almost twice as many racks uh, for your solar array, but you can do it that way as well. Now you can order these by going to DIYgroundmount.com. And they were also kind enough to give me a discount code to get you all 10% off. So make sure you enter the discount code unplugged when you fill out that quote form and they'll help you out. Now each of these racks weigh only 15 pounds, so they are easy to move and to set up. And they can ship out as many as 50 of these on a pallet, so it keeps the shipping costs very low as well. And they are made of high density polyethylene, which means they're gonna last 40 plus years, which beats the heck out of my DIY uh, pressure treated wood ones, the little green ones that you see behind me. I built those by hand. They're only gonna last 10 to 15 years roughly. And I was doing that to save costs from the metal racks, which are astronomically expensive, and then the labor to install them is crazy as well. Um, so that's why I went with the DIY wood ones. But if I would have known about these, I definitely would have used these instead. Using these power racks instead of building my own that I built out of pressure treated wood would have saved me hundreds of hours of labor for how big my solar array is at 60 panels. Now they are at a fixed tilt angle of 25 degrees. Now the dimensions of these racks are 37 inches long by 26 inches wide and 26 inches tall. And they have cutouts in each of them so you could run your solar panel wiring right through them very easily. They can handle snow loads of up to 50 pounds per square foot. Now their low profile, as you can see behind me here, makes them very easy to clean, very easy to install. And they're also less affected by wind. In fact, even if you lived in an area with an HOA, a homeowners association, these things are so small, you can put them in your backyard, make a little temporary solar panel array, and no one's even gonna know you have them. So they have little lines built into the racks that'll tell you once you fill your material to that level, approximately how much weight that'll be, making it very easy to hit whatever wind rating you need. Now the company that makes these, which is Powerfield Energy, is headquartered in the US and also manufactures these in the US as well. Once you fill in that quote form and give them your address, they're gonna reach out to you with a diagram that shows exactly how much weight you're gonna to need to put in each one in order to hit that ASCE 7-16 wind rating standard. Now I installed 10 of these solar panels in about five hours and I had no idea what I was doing. These installed like a breeze, talk about easy. There's no solar experience necessary in order to put these together. Now I personally used one power rack per solar panel, plus one at the end. So I've got two rows of five, so it took six power racks for each row of five. And I used about 50 pounds of gravel into each one, and then another about 50 pounds of large boulders, or basically soccer ball, maybe softball sized boulders, and just threw them inside there to add another 50 pounds for a total of 100 pounds in each one. Now, when they're connected like that with one panel in each one, one power rack sits right in the middle, straddles two of them. So the whole five panel row that I have is all connected together, making them even more secure because the wind would have to blow them pretty much all over at one time. Now I've had winds thus far since installing these of about 40 miles an hour, and they haven't even budged. I have no doubt these are gonna stay 
down without a problem in 80 mile an hour wind conditions. I mean, there's such a low profile, the wind really just does not hit them. Next major thunderstorm I have, I'm gonna bring out my wind sensor and film hopefully 60 plus mile an hour winds and showing you that these haven't even budged. Now keep in mind, I live in a very rural area, so I don't have to get a permit for these solar racks. So I'm willing to take the risk to not hit the ASCE standard, you know, the 7-16 standard, but that's something you're gonna have to decide on your own. Now these are perfect for permanent installations or temporary installations. For instance, if you wanted to take these in your RV and go camping, you can bring these out in minutes and have five, six solar panels set up. And you don't even have to put any material in them if there's no wind. You can just set them on the ground, put your panels on them, but you're out camping though, so you're probably in an area where you can find some rocks or something to throw in there. So send the kids out on a few minute hike to go grab some rocks and bring them back and put them in there. Now there are some things to keep in mind with these though. Now, these only work with solar panels that have the traditional edges with the lips around the edges. And that lip is basically clamped onto by these racks and then a pin is put in that to actually secure them. Now most solar panels these days have that traditional edge but that is something to keep in mind. The length of the solar panels don't matter, but the width does. The max width these racks can handle is 41.3 inches. Now they work for most solar panels I've seen between the 200 watt to 460 watt range, but it's very important to check that before moving forward with these racks. In fact, it's so important that on the quote form that they give you to fill out, they want the specs of your solar panel so they can double check that for you. Now the low profile of these might be a problem in areas that get a lot of snow because the front edge of the panel is only about nine to 10 inches off the ground. If you do get a lot of snow, they're gonna to start to get covered over time. So you're gonna to have to go out there with a snow blower pretty continuously during those storms to get the snow load off there. Now, if you're in an area that requires a permit for these, you're most likely gonna to have to have two racks per solar panel. Now, Powerfield Energy will tell you exactly how many you need and how much weight to put in each one. But from what I've seen, at least in my area, and I don't really have a high wind i'm not in a high wind zone and i still was going to need two of these to hit the asce standard um, for a hundred plus mile an hour wind rate but even installing two of these power racks per solar panel you're still saving a fortune over going with the metal racking systems now i recommend two people to install these now it's very easy to install you need no solar experience but i mean maybe yeah one person could probably do it but they'd struggle a little bit i think so two people makes this install a breeze now let's get to the cost of these Powerfield Energy on their website says the cost on these could be as low as about 15 cents a watt. That's about $60 for a 400 watt solar panel. That's cheap. Now your actual cost is gonna depend on multiple factors based on how many you're gonna get. Are you gonna use two per panel or one per panel? So fill out that quote form and they'll get you the details on that. I'll also leave the link in the description, but you can go to DIYgroundmount.com and when you fill out that quote form, make sure you put in unplugged in the discount code section to get that 10% off. And soon I'll be releasing an install video on these on how I did the install. It's very simple. You really don't need an install video, but I'm gonna put that out there anyways for you all. And make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment letting me know what you think of these racks. I know I've got a lot of solar professionals who watch my channel, and you guys could probably pick this apart better than I can. So see you all in the next video.